long. But uh, let's quickly go on to the current local football situation that we have. Northern Region Soccer League being uh, the, the topic of discussion <laughs> at the moment. And apparently, a lot of people are saying that, you know what, Northern Region has kind of dug itself into a bit of a hole. Because there are a number of other decisions with a similar circumstance um, where matches were abandoned. And it was given as a one-all draw, or that match was either replayed or redone. Um, especially if it did, if uh, that um, a stoppage in play didn't come towards the end of the game, and maybe came, you know, Tirumbori Pakati kind of, so to speak. So now they made a decision. Yes, three points given to, and uh, uh, Scotland FC have already got 2024 champions T-shirts and all these uh, <laughs> interesting things. But Karoi United has now gone on to appeal. What is the root of the issue here, Nathaniel? Where is this situation coming from? Uh, to start off, I think since the inception of uh, Northern Region, this has been their worst season ever. <laughs> and uh, to be frank, mm -hmm. it's not like these things uh, yeah. happen this year. Mm. This has always been happening, but uh, when you look back, but I'll give a very uh, good example where most people in Harare would agree with me that it's un understandable why that club failed to get promotion. Mm -hmm. And everyone knows the reason. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm saying these things didn't start now. Mm -hmm. They started way back, mm -hmm. even in the days of Seco Simon, the Sporting mm -hmm. Lions. Mm -hmm. You get Monum Tap, you can mention mm -hmm. there was a club called Harare United. Mm -hmm. Harare United, I think uh, Harare United uh, played uh, Tiki Taka football before Pep Guardiola <laughs> made the famous at Barcelona yeah. <laughs> during his reign mm. around 2008-7, there about to 2011. Mm -hmm. Harare United uh, type of football was easy on the eye. Mm -hmm. And in terms of scoring goals, they scored goals. But when it came to promotion, everyone knows mm -hmm. it was an issue of match fixing that mm -hmm. denied them mm -hmm. season after season. Mm -hmm. Even if they played whatever type of football, <laughs> scored whatever number of goals, mm -hmm. it all came down. I'll give you a very good example mm -hmm. of a match that I remember. I'll give you two matches mm -hmm. that I remember. Mm -hmm. There's one that was played. It was a season when uh, London got promoted. Mm -hmm. The return leg was played at uh, DZ Stadium. I have never seen such <laughs> officiating. The first uh, incident that happened was uh, Thomas Magorimbo, who later played for Dynamos, uh, was one star player for Rare United. He got a red card. Then Darren Yandoro, who played for Monam Tapa, went to play for Chicken in locally. Then Tipi Mazembe scored a goal, and the referee just said, the judge disallowed the goal and said, the player insulted me. I don't know where <laughs> that happens. Where else in the world? <laughs> that happens where it goes is disallowed because the referee says yes, yes. I was insulted. <laughs> claimed that I was insulted. Then the other match was um, a related versus uh, Monum Tapa. Mm -hmm. The year that uh, Monum Tapa got, uh, promoted. got promoted. That match was played in, uh, it was played in Kwanzaa Stadium. Mm -hmm. I was in the stadium again, mm -hmm. sitting behind the goal where that faithful mm -hmm. and promotion ceiling mm -hmm. equalizer by Monum Tava mm -hmm. was scored. And um, I think uh, Harari United scored in the first half. They were leading one nil, And they were missing chance after chance. And we were always saying, once uh, in, in the mm -hmm. terraces, we were always saying, they were, they were going to play for this. Mm -hmm. The referee will make a funny decision. And it, 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 it will be the end of their promotion run. And uh, as we were stating, around 80 something or just after 80 minutes, with a few minutes to go, the referee just pointed uh, <laughs> a free kick outside the box, and that was a Daniel Zokoto mm. uh, territory. No, and no, indeed, no, did. <laughs> Daniel Zokoto just did as Daniel uh, Zokoto no, no, used no, no, to do. Yeah. He just buried the, 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 the free kick, and the, the match ended 1 1. And that was uh, the end of. Uh, the Harare United campaign, uh, promotion campaign for that particular. Yeah. So when we come back to Scotland now, what has made this particular uh, case MS yeah. is, as a league, they've created a narrative in the people or in the public that 
they seem to be favoring one team over another. Mm -hmm. And I will point at uh, uh, the incidences. Mm -hmm. And when you look at the previous now uh, incidences that we're talking about, the previous seasons, the league didn't seem or didn't show uh, any indications yeah. that it was trying to push an agenda mm -hmm. for a certain team to be promoted. Yeah. Everything on the surface looked as it was an even uh, playing field or landscape. Where in actual fact, we, it's not like when these things happen, the mm -hmm. league or the yeah. public don't know about yeah. these things. Yeah. These things are talked about. Mm -hmm. So match fixing uh, yeah. allegations are yeah. nothing new. Yeah. But for this year now, the league put itself in a difficult position. Now we, we go on to the mission question. Mm. The Karoi versus uh, mm, Scotland. 